Yeah, still pretty hot and also some hazy conditions over eastern Washington. I want to start off with this video. Take a look at this from Spokane. Boy, just terrible air quality and you can't really make anything out with all of the fires and look at that. You can barely make out the sun. This is going to be the story for them moving forward because of number one, the winds heading that direction, the heat as well and more fires. Let me get right to what we have going on. High pressure over the four corners region has given us all that heat you were just talking about, Joyce. And we're also seeing some lightning strikes again over Oregon and eastern Washington. Interesting to point out though, take a look at this. We saw this yesterday. I was looking at this with uh, meteorologist Rebecca Stevenson and we were looking at it in the same spot. There's Mount Rainier. What you're seeing here is as we look at this time lapse, there's Mount Rainier pyro cumulus clouds. Pyrocumulus clouds form right over fires. Now fires produce a lot of heat. They also have smoke. Smoke goes up into the air. You've got a little bit of moisture. You've got a cloud and boom, you've got this going on. Also producing some lightning and perhaps some rain. Also some gusty winds though. Here we have the, uh, you can see them on this it's a GOES 17 satellite. The wind direction is heading off to the east. You can see another fire there. So that's why we're not seeing all of those smoky, hazy conditions here. The wind is blowing to the east. It is bone dry out there as well. Look at the relative humidity, 15 to 20 percent or so. On the western side of the Cascades, of course, not all that bad, 41 to 73 percent. Of course, we had the marine layer this morning. That helped us out as well, cool us off. Look at eastern Washington, air quality warnings for most of eastern Washington. Heat advisories underneath that all through the day tomorrow for some very hot temperatures. And then after that, Joyce, we're going to continue with the heat for us tomorrow. We have lots of 80s on the map. We do have some rain in the forecast for us, and I'll have the seven-day coming up in just a bit.